Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brickzar. This haul is a mystery. I have no idea what's in these packages. So I'm wearing my Scooby-Doo shirt. Actually, I know exactly what's in these packages. And pretty much every other video that's a mystery box, the people know what's in the box. But you don't. That's why they call them mystery boxes. Actually, you probably do know what's in these. It's not... <laughs> it's like Scooby-Doo. Oh, it never really was a monster. It was always some guy in a suit. And he would have got away with it if it hadn't been for those meddling kids. I got another mystery. Now, this one truly is a mystery. This is our uh, uh, a card we got from Switzerland, which they always, the Switzerland packages or envelopes always come with a really neat stamp. Switzerland, you have really neat postage. Um, so this had these little things in here. Oh, let me get the other, let me get the other. I thought I'd put it in here. What did I do with it? Yeah, here it is. So they sent me some of the Brick Sticker Shop uh, Santa Fe stickers, which they had the one for the B unit. <laughs> and these look really nice. So uh, if you're building the Santa Fe Super Chief B unit by James Mathis, I think these stickers look perfect for that because they're the size of look like they're the size of a one by brick like a one by eight or whatever it goes on i forget what it goes on well, here it is right here <laughs> right here so i had the custom ones that uh, joey made or his uh, daughter made for me that we got on here wait a minute i just re i realized that joey i didn't think of this so <laughs> you see how the, the the logo goes back and on this side it goes back too but it's the other way <laughs> Well, it's, yeah, they got it, they oriented it where when you see the, the logo, the, the, the tail will be going towards the back of the locomotive, I guess. I think that's pretty neat. I didn't think about reversing the logos on each side of the locomotive. So basically when I turn it, it looks the same to you, but it really should be, if the train's going this way, that should not be pointing that way. It should be pointing, when I say pointing, the the Santa Fe should be in the front and the tail should be in the back. I'm guessing. I don't really know. I haven't really gone into great detail and I did not intend. This video is already off the rails, but it's because of uh, my viewers. <laughs> so there's some more stickers for the Santa Fe Super Chief, the little pieces that go on the top. Brick Sticker Shop, they have some really good um, stickers. And this is the one... Here, this one is for the um, the truck. It's for the um, Canada Post truck, which I'm going to get out now. So on the back of the Canada Post truck is supposed to be a little pattern, like this stripe pattern there. So I'll be able to add that. I'm not going to do it for the purposes of this video. I just broke the truck. <laughs> but they also included uh, stickers for the parts that aren't contemporary to today, like the Canada Post brick and the torso for the uh, driver. But those weren't stickers in the original set. Oh, another thing I need to do before we get to our three packages. Put this to the side. I need to get ready for BrickCon. Atlanta BrickCon, so the, you'll be watching this long after Atlanta BrickCon, probably. I don't know. Uh, so I get everything I need to take. So I'll be representing um, the most popular tipper truck on TV. That's Tipper Truck TV, and this is the tipper truck from Tipper Truck TV, the one and only original tipper truck for Tipper Truck TV. <laughs> So Tipper Truck TV, if you're a big fan of Tipper Truck TV, um, I'll be there as Tipper Truck TV, all 326 subscribers we have. And then I also got to take this bad boy. Let's see if I can get it over there without breaking it. Uh, so this is uh, the world's largest Lego Tipper Truck. And, uh, and unlike the set, we actually give it cargo. <laughs> So the, the one by one bricks were in the gravel quarry set, which had a tipper truck in it, but not that tipper truck. I got some more one by one bricks. So that's what I'll take. I'm not going to take the yellow one, but I want to 
Before I take it, I want to redo my hubcaps on this. I just used the dishes. I want to take it. They're, they're, they're like a six by six dish, I think. I want to just take it and put um, a um, tiles and make it where it's got a little knob on it. So that's something I'm going to work on. So that's something else to work on. So thank you, Switzerland, for the brick sticker shop stuff. And I'll try not to break this before Atlanta Brick Hunt. All right, so let's see what's in these packages from BrickLink. I guess this technically was a mystery haul because I actually didn't know what was in all these packages. So this is, those are the light gray bars for the Santa Fe. These are the tiles that go on, I mean, the, um, the grill that go on the top. And then one by eight uh, dark gray tiles. Uh, tiles that were on this so i appreciate my views it's like i i do these hauls and i'm like or i'm, I'm showing things and unfortunately i have like sometimes by the time the video post i've already ordered stuff so some of the stuff has come and but i really appreciate my viewers helping me to complete out things and since i did technically still not still but uh i took a a unit and convert it into a B unit. So if I ever want to make another A unit, I will need the parts I stole to make the B unit. And so having those parts will come in handy uh, later on, perhaps. So thank you for that. All right, so this one is from Bricklink. And it's interesting, they had this little box. I did not get the Rock Raiders, but I actually did get this Drome Racer set 4583. Um, that's not why I went to the store, but I decided to go ahead and get it. You know why I went to the store. Yes, tipper truck parts. And then the flowers are for Fabulands and one by two dark gray bricks and a train rail. So put those with the Fabuland stuff. And let's build this uh, drone racer. This has a pullback motor. It's from 2002. You can tell by the awful build style. Isn't that a sad little minifigure? A drone racer. That's what the pullback motor looks like. So I didn't look up the piece count, but it looks like they padded it. <laughs> There's eight one by one round studs there, and then these two little pieces. I'm up to 10 pieces. All right, wait, 11. I got 11 pieces on here so far. So I guess it was appropriate I wore the Scooby Doo shirt. <laughs> It's a mystery of how to connect these. You can't just slide them on there. You got to make sure the pins line up there. I was having a hard, uh oh, dropped, I dropped my drone racer. That thing is hard to put on there. Just got to line it up somehow. Like that. There we go. Uh oh, just dropped another piece. Uh, yeah, not the most sturdy build in the world. How does this go? Put this back on there. Put our drone racer guy back on, on there. Almost done. So it's interesting, we're done, and we got these parts left over. These I kind of expected, but it's got wheels left over, two plates. I double-checked, I didn't miss them in the instructions, but let's do the little pullback. Boom. Whoops. Pretty neat. So this little guy is called Maverick Storm. And when I look at the instruction manual, it shows alternate builds. There's two alternate builds here. And I think you would need, I guess, those pieces to do that. Yeah, there's that black piece right there, the little handlebar piece. And I'm assuming the this, this plates are there. But it's just interesting that for the main build, you don't use those parts anywhere on there. There's no two by four plate anywhere on here just but it's extra <laughs> and these wheels uh, that's a drone racer maverick storm is the name i don't think i said that but i didn't go to the store to buy that but i was like for less than three bucks so I was like, i'll just go ahead and get it and this thing reeks of the 90s but it came out in 2002 well actually late 90s early 2000s it's these these yeah odd color patterns there all right, so let's see what the rest of So this has turned out to be a mystery after all. Yeah, hopefully I should know what is in the rest of Oh, did I do? Oh, yeah, I already did the 
rest of what I got from that order. This one is from Friggin' Rights in the U.S. And with the recent run on tipper truck parts, I've started more aggressively getting tipper truck parts, Friggin' Rights. So this person actually so says, uh, if you have any issues, please reach out. And before they even shipped it, before they even shipped the order, they were not happy with the quality of some of the pieces. I told them I don't care. <laughs> the, the, the things that you were saying, let's see if I really don't care. Uh, and they, I think they actually refunded me, but I was like, I told them not to worry about it. And we're going to see um, here in the order. All right, first of all, these are definitely for fabulous. Oh man, these plates, these are in really good condition. These plates here. Actually, I should zoom back out a little bit. <laughs> um, this is a fabulous. I got to take this off my wanted list. I think I got so many extra of these merry-go-round parts or Ferris wheel parts. <laughs> All right, and so here are the parts. And I'll show you the ones that he said or she said they weren't happy about. It's not the tipper truck. So look at that, man. Those things are beautiful. Beautiful tipper trucks. Tipper truck part. Tipper truck part. Fabulous part. It was these. They said they were cracked. Oh, I see what they're talking about. Uh, there's a little hairline crack right there on that one. Let's see about this other one. Be honest, <laughs> I would have never noticed it, ever. And yeah, there's another one, a little hairline crack. I, I wouldn't be surprised if most of the bricks are like that. And then this one, they said it was yellowed. <laughs> It's actually one of the best looking tipper windshields. <laughs> so, yeah, so they, they credited me back. And I told them not to worry about it. And, and here it is, now that I have everything in hand, the things that they were worried about, these four parts. They're even better. I mean, <laughs> I expected to see chips missing or something. It's, yeah, it's, it's not even that noticeable. So I really, it's a really good... Really good person there. Friggin' rights. They care about quality, even when I told them not to worry about it. And it turns out they didn't need to worry about it, but I appreciate so much uh, them being worried about it. All right, so we got one more. Um, awesome. I mean, I just really think that's really, uh, as I throw the card down, <laughs> it was really nice of them to be concerned. But they, yeah, they, they, they're fine. And their quality's if they're worried that much about the quality, then I'm sure everything they sell, they're going to take great care of it. So, awesome. Awesome. So, this is from Germany. I think this is Ollie's Brick Bar. Let me uh, do it this way. Um, what, uh, nope, nope. It's X Bricks. X Bricks. I get them. Uh-oh. I can't eat these. What are you trying to do? I can't eat chewy candy. All right. So, they got some of these... Um, one by sixes. I'm going to make some six times the size clear pieces. And so here's his. I bought a whole bunch of these. Like I'll just take grab this one. Look at this one. Compare this one to the one from. This is the one from Figgin Rights, and this is this one. Look at the stress mark. Um, I'm just saying. I bet you this one is better than a lot of these. This one's about the same. Uh, this one's more scratched up than this one. So I, I don't expect the windshields to be mint condition because they are 50 years old. <laughs> and so I'm going to mix them all up. Now I'll never know which one the freaking rights one was. <laughs> oh, look, I got another one of these. Oh, see? All right, so Barn Brick sent me these doors, and then I found my doors, but then I had already ordered these. <laughs> so I got plenty of the red doors. They may come in ha handy later. I got one of the yellow buckets. I, you know, I, I have like 200 yellow buckets and I don't know where they are right now. <laughs> oh, here's, oh, I was going to put this in the is it Lego category because it just looked weird. But now that I have it, it's like, okay, it says Lego. But if it was just laying there, would somebody know that's a Lego piece? They would if they looked at it. Uh, it's not necessarily is it Lego. And then I got a whole bunch of these straight 12-volt rails. 
anytime somebody has a bunch of those when I'm look, looking for tipper truck parts, I go for them. So one thing I've been doing is instead of waiting to get the buckets, I've built the tippers, tipper trucks as much as I can without the bucket, which means these are ones that have every piece except for the bucket. So there's like 80, 82 here because there's 36 in a container. And then there's 10 in this one. So it's 36, 36, 72, 10. Yeah, I got 82 that I'm waiting on buckets. And these stopped. I stopped building here because I ran out of windshields. But we just got about 24, 25 windshields in this hall. So I'll be able to, yeah, I'll be almost able to fill that up. <laughs> but I'm still waiting on the bucket. And then we got this one down here is completed ones. And so what I'm thinking about doing is while I'm waiting on the blue ones, I'm going to put the yellow ones. So my idea the other day, I thought, let me just go ahead and put the yellow ones on these. And then I'll substitute them out as I get the blue ones. And I can't find the yellow ones. <laughs> it's a mystery where they went. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was going to pick this up, but I'm afraid I'm going to break it before. Uh... <laughs> okay, set it back down. All right. You know what, I think when I get back from Atlanta BrickCon, I may just not put it back on the shelf for now, as I do need to, I want to redo all this, um, so that's another thing, but that's the Drone Racer Maverick Storm, and this is a haul, and thank you uh, for the people that sent me the Brick Sticker Shop stuff, thank you to Freaking Rights for caring so much about those pieces, your quality was excellent, you will get positive feedback, I always leave positive feedback for people. And, uh, and I can't remember, have I ever left negative feedback to a seller? I've not left feedback. I've wanted to leave negative, but most of the time it's not people, with BrickLink, most of the time people, if they something's wrong, they they work it out. So I've not really had any issues as a buyer. It's, well, I've had issues, but not, not nothing I can't live with without, without, or with, is it with, can't live with or without? I don't know. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching another video. I wear a different shirt every day, and I seem to have a gift of being able to make the shirt apply whether I intended to or not. I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know what shirt it will be. We'll see. It's a mystery.